What's going on, it's Casey. So today, I'm gonna do drill beat. Um, but first, I've got a couple of things to do. So yeah, these lot have been bugging me to go park. These lot have been bugging to go park, so I'm gonna quickly run park. <laughs> kick some ball. And then, actually I've got a mastering gig to finish off today as well, so I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna do that first, and then jump on this drill beat. Hey, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Quickly go, Jim. Jim, kick some balls, and then <clears throat> quick shopping, food shopping, and then hit the studio. Oh, look at that! Time. Back from playing ball with the boys and that, and I said I'm gonna hit the studio to work on some music, work on a beat, just create this drill beat. I've sent off my master track to the artist, so I'm just waiting for them to get back to me to see whether or not they like it, like the mix and what I've done to their vocals and to the to the track itself. So hopefully they'll like it. Actually, I've got to send off another master, so we we redone some vocals, um, a hook for another artist that I'm working with. So I'm just gonna quickly send that now through email, which shouldn't take too long, uh, wetransfer.com. Quick message just to say, hey bro, hope you like the track. Like the new mix. Let me know what you think. Okay, you see. So add the files quickly. So I've got some ideas already for this drill beat. Um, hopefully it comes out how I hear, hear the melody in my head. It's been a while since I've actually done a, a beat making video. So yeah, definitely overdue. So the artist should get that in his inbox shortly. It's going up quite quick. Uploading, it's going up quicker than seconds. So then I can concentrate on this beat once I've done that. Done, sent. Let's jump into this beat making video. So I want to use this key zone classic piano VST it's free so I'm going to drop a link in the description below so you can use that as well in your productions and uh, make some beats with it the thing I like about this um, this VST plugin as well it has it's got like a it's got an ADS, ADSR knobs down the bottom here so you can change the attack the decay sustain and release there was something else as well that I liked about it uh, you could um oh the attack yeah so when you when you mess about the attack when you hit the key hold on. so when you press the key on the attack you can slow the attack down so it, it kind of ramps up into the sound so i'm going to try that i'm going to play it normally first and then we, we're going to mess around with the attack and the, see how that sounds because it's a drill beat i'm going to go for 140 bpm or 139 bpm um, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I always use templates so I don't have to fraff around or mess about. I don't have to mess around trying to find sounds. I can just quickly get my ideas down. And if I need to go in again and change sounds, I can do that. 
Um, this is how this piano sounds anyway. Let's, let's just play this piano for you. got one two three five different sounds on there so you can go through see what you want what works for you but I like the Yamaha grand so I'm gonna roll with that Ooh. yeah when you slow that attack down it gives you that drill type of feel I like that but let me just play what I'm gonna play in first and then mess around with the attack after so also you might have noticed that I've got a, an acapella in there, which is the heady one acapella. Basics if I get stopped is back to basics. Bad B lost on my waps and laces, thing set good no she can't. And sometimes I use how I used to make beats, how I used to start making start my beats off was having an acapella and then just working around that. Like if you're just starting out making beats, that's a good way for you to to get your your ideas off the ground so you know once you take the once you take the vocals out you've got a beat it's like a remix it's like you're doing a remix but then when you take the vocals out it's a new beat it's not obviously it's not the same song that the that the artists have done in, in the first place so that's a cool little tip for you but i'm not going to use that right now i'm going to bring it in afterwards to see if it works so i've got that them hi-hats, the shaker pattern there already. <clears throat> That's another thing as well. I like to have templates of sounds that I'm going to use, like the drum sounds. So this now is a nice little foundation for me to work off of. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. Let's see how that works, see how that goes. Whoa, <laughs> what's going on there? All right, one second, let's sort that out. Nah, might be better off just recording it, let's go. So that's just a little idea to get down. I'll change up the velocities and the timing of the notes afterwards. This is just to, like I said, just to get my head, just to get my ideas down quickly. Yeah, so we slow down the attack. That gives it a different feel. Yeah, so what I like to do as well is like to hum or beatbox the, the pattern that I want to use. So let's try, let's try and see if I can get this done. Standard snare there.
Yeah. See, already you can hear. See, already you can hear how the how a vocal sound on it. So we're on the right path. We're on the right in the right going in the right direction. So let's add in some some more hi hats and maybe now let's jump onto the eight oh eight. That's all right. Let's roll that for now. Okay, let's add another note in there. Uh, whoops, all done there. Okay, we need that jump pattern to kind of follow the um, the eight oh eight. So. Uh, Put the eight oh eight. I'm putting the drum pattern on the actual window now, so I can just follow it. I can follow the pattern of the eight oh eights and the kicks, so it hits nice, hits nicely. I'm gonna duplicate that four bar loop for the drums, and then change it up a little bit, so that it's an eight bar loop. So you can to loop that. You can just command R. I mean to duplicate. Du so to duplicate, so to duplicate that little region, command R to join them both, press J, double click, go inside there. Let's just solo this pattern quickly. Get some kicks in there, some extra kicks in there. Give it that dual skip. Wait a second. Mm, yeah, that'll do. Lovely. Let's hit with the 808s. I think we need to come in a bit earlier. So, all I've done is just created a quick little idea and then I'll just go in there and just tweak it up. is here. Mm, no, nah, I'm not feeling all that 808 stuff there, so I'm just going to pencil it, pencil it all in. Yeah, let's 
stay up. Sometimes it's easier just to play in quicker. Oh, and I want to change that snare. I don't like that snare. Let's go with... Where is it? Let's try that. No, that's not the right one. Where's it gone? Okay, let's try that. Let's change that sound because I'm not really feeling it. That's better. So I've got a couple of sounds there that I'm going to try and incorporate into the beat. Let's see if I can mesh them in there and make it sound like a proper, proper beat. So we want to change that, that sound there. It sounds a bit weak. So yeah, that's better, isn't it? And I'm also going to change the uh, shuffle. <clears throat> See, like when I'm making beats, I'm going back and forth, back and forth, and just trying to just feel. I'm trying to feel that. I'm trying to feel that. I'm trying to. When I'm creating it, I need to feel it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I keep going back and forth. So I feel like they they don't need to be there. They don't need to be there. No, oh, no, let's sort that kick pattern out there. That's a bit wrong. Let's go with. Why do I feel like this drum pattern is on a different bar? Yeah. Yeah, let's have that. That little skippy. Okay, let's try that try. Yeah. I feel like that open height is way too high. Let's go lower.
Okay, so we've got the first part. Let's jump onto the second part. And this is where the uh, the bass line will change and the, the melody as well. So it should give it a nice little feel. Yeah, yeah, let's try it out. Let me play that in. Bring some more stuff in now to make it a bit more interesting. So we've got a nice little 8-bar loop there. Let's see if we can do that. As you can see, it doesn't it falls short of two bars, so I'm gonna stretch that out to make that two bars. I'm gonna turn it down because I know it's gonna be loud. And it's a different key to the beat, so just gonna transpose. I want it to be lower as well. Two do. See what else we've got. Okay, I'm gonna drop that right. Make sure it's two bars first. And I'm gonna drop that. Actually, cut it there. Stretch that out to two bars, or should I do one bar? No, let's stretch it for two bars. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna cut it right there. And we're gonna have that running through. Yeah, too early. Why has that done that? Uh, 
I know what I've done. Let me go back again and cut that where it needs to be cut. Right on the bar. That's why it was long. That's why it was too long, so. Let's see if we can, let's see what happens if we drag that out to the end and cut that there we we'll take a little snippet of that and bring it here and then we we'll see what else we've got I think that will work nicely in there somewhere Duplicate that same sound and I'm going to transpose it down my whole octave. No, it's not a whole octave, is it? Let's go up one more. I feel like it's transposed to eight. Yes, perfect. Bang on. Bang on. Let's see if we can take that down a touch. I'm going to add some more melody to the pianos as well. I feel like, I feel like there's something missing. It might sound like it's too much at the moment, but I like I like to just fill it up with different sounds and stuff. So the next time I go back onto it, I can just take some stuff out and arrange it properly, make it a full beat, which will be one of the videos I'm gonna do to show you how to make an eight bar loop into a whole whole beat, a full beat. Yeah. Lovely. We're gonna turn them down because they're a bit loud. Let's say what it sounds like with the head basics, If I get stopped, it's back to basics. Badly lost on my waps and laces. Things set, you know she can't be basic. Fess ask questions, I get invasive. That's no comment up in the station. Gang can't sleep on a violation. So I must spend all my savings. Switch off my iPhone back to basics. Back to basics. I might, call, I might call this beat. Back to basics. Okay, let's get a bit of. Um, grittiness on this 808 some some crunch wow
you know what i think i'm gonna leave it there you know because i feel i feel like it's in a good place i've got all these little sounds and stuff going off and i'm happy with how it sounds i feel like there's enough space for an artist because you, when you notice when i put heady one in there he had space you could hear him and everything else was going off going on around him so i feel like it's in a good place now to, for me to just leave it there and just uh just arrange it so now it's gonna have the little drops and the little bits and pieces just to make it full beat and ready to go up on my website yeah drop a comment below let me know what you think of the beat or if you've got a name for the beat i'll use it and i'll shout you out in my next video